What's up guys, my name is Brock, you're watching The Modest Man, and today we're shopping for swim trunks. All right, every man needs a solid pair or two or three of swim trunks in his closet, something fitted, uh, that you look good in, that you feel great in. Now, I like my swim trunks to fit kind of like my chino shorts, you know, to hit at least a couple inches above the knee, if not a few inches above the knee, to be nice and slim and tapered. And these days, it's not hard to find swim trunks that are short enough, but I have a really hard time finding swim trunks that are slim enough for my skinny legs. And before you even ask, no bro, I don't even squat. So I usually shop for traditional swim trunks rather than board shorts. In my opinion, I don't think board shorts are a good look on smaller or shorter men. Now listen, if you're 6'2 and you're built like a professional surfer, sure, you know, some board shorts with a 20 inch out seam and some crazy pattern might look good on you. But for me, it's gonna make me look like a little kid or a teenager. So I don't really wear board shorts, you know, I like swim trunks, the kind with the mesh lining and a drawstring rather than the Velcro. Uh, I like uh, solid colors and subtle patterns, you know, nothing too crazy. Um, kind of like all of my clothes, you know, I want my swim trunks to be relatively timeless. Okay, so I went to the mall and a couple of department stores to try to find a pair of swim trunks that actually fits and flatters my build, and uh, I wanna show you guys what I found. Just reference, uh, I'm 5'6 in shoes and about 120 pounds. All right, I tried on a bunch of pairs, so we'll just run through real quick, and I'll share my thoughts about each pair. Okay, so first I went to Nordstrom Rack. They carry a bunch of different brands. Um, I did wanna see what they had in the young men's department just to check it out, uh, so I grabbed this one pair. The brand is called Sovereign codes i believe this is a kid size medium and it actually fit pretty well um definitely nice and slim through the leg probably one of the slimmer pairs i tried on actually uh hits about two or three inches above the knee which is which is good and as is often the case with boy sizes it's a little tight around the hip and in the seat so you know a little restrictive which is not a good thing with swim trunks uh, but i do like how the leg was nice and slim also probably not my favorite pattern in the world but this was the only one they had and i wanted to try it on okay next up we had original penguin this is also from nordstrom rack uh, this is a size 29 waist us uh, these actually fit pretty well too they were cut a little fuller uh, than the last pair which is good because i had a little more room in the seat in the crotch area and the hips um, but they were a little a little fuller through the leg. Uh, they hit about uh, one or two inches above the knee, which is fine. Um, they were a little wide around my legs, but I think for shorter guys, this kind of horizontal color blocking probably isn't the most flattering pattern. You know, not a deal breaker, but I'd probably pick something different than this pattern. Okay, next up we had Vans, and this is a size 28. These fit very much like the uh, original Penguin swim trunks. Uh, they hit just above the knee. They're cut kind of slim, but you know, I'm a slim guy, so I'm me, I'd prefer something even slimmer, but you know, these weren't bad at all. Um, if you have more of an average build or more average size legs, I think these would look great on you. Uh, I did like this pattern a little better than the penguin shorts, it's kind of a fun print pattern. So these are size 28, which means Vans runs a little bigger than a penguin, because those are size 29. So yeah, these were also a decent choice. Okay, next up, still at Nordstrom Rack, we have this brand Tavik, which I hadn't heard of, uh, but figured I'd try them out. Uh, these were 28 waist and retro length, which I assume just means shorter. These were definitely one of the slimmer pairs I tried on. They had a lower rise, as you can see. There's not as much room in the seat. Uh, nice and tapered through the leg, which was good. Um, you know, black's not my favorite color for swim trunks, but you know, it's, it's a safe choice, solid black trunks. So these were pretty good. I can't really comment on the quality or anything because I haven't heard of this brand, but you know, not a bad option. Okay, so headed on over to H&M. Uh, I had high hopes for H&M because I already have a pair of swim trunks from them, an extra small that fit pretty well. Um, first, I tried on this new cut that I have. It's kind of a European cut. Uh, this was extra small. These were definitely, you know, these are aggressively short. These were the shortest, uh, slimmest swim trunks that I tried on. To be honest, I don't even know if I would really wear these to the beach or something. I might feel a little self-conscious. Might need to go tanning or something first. Uh, but, you know, they're an option if, uh, if, if you have the, uh, the kind of personality and confidence to pull them off. They actually, I think, fit pretty well. Just took a few pictures of these. And, whoa, I don't know how that, how'd that get in there. That's, that's weird. Let me just get rid of that. All right, moving on. Um, this is also H&M. This is their more traditional cut. Uh, these are extra smalls, kind of like a, a small blue and white uh, geometric pattern, which is, you know, that's, that's a safe and nice kind of conservative print pattern that anybody could pull off. These fit really well. So out of all the swim trunks I tried, these were the best in terms of fit. Uh, they were also you know, like 20 bucks and it's pretty affordable. Um, 
the hip probably three or four inches above the knee. They're slim, but not restrictive. Uh, good around the waist, plenty of room in the seat. Um, just normal drawstring, mesh lining. These were great swim trunks. Definitely recommend H&M Extra Small if you have a build that's similar to mine. And then just for fun, tried out one more pair from H&M. <laughs> Again, these very short, uh, probably like a five inch inseam, uh, tropical print. You know, one day, one day I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear these to the beach and just, you know, own it, but I'm just not quite there yet. I'm gonna have to hit the gym, do a few squats, and then, you know, we'll take it from there. Okay, next up, hit the mall, went to Forever 21. Not a huge fan of this store, you know, it's very low quality stuff, very fast fashion, uh, but I did wanna see how their swim trunks fit, so I grabbed an extra small in kind of a uh, tropical print, and I was surprised. I thought these were gonna be like super slim, super fitted, and they weren't. Then now this is the smallest size they carry, uh, and these were cut pretty full. Um, and, you know, for a store like Forever 21, who's kind of geared towards younger people, I kind of assumed their swim trunks would be more slim fit and tapered. But yeah, these were definitely too full for my build. Um, they were fine around the waist, but yeah, just way too big uh, through the legs. And I think a little too long too. Okay, next I went to the department store Dillard's, uh, grabbed a pair of Polo Ralph Lauren in size small. Now, I don't know if they make an extra small, but they only had small in the store. Uh, these are a uh, bold orange color, which I don't recommend. It was just the only color that they had a size small in. Now, these were a good length for me, probably like eight or nine inch inseam, but they have kind of a conservative full cut. And for me, I really need something slimmer. You know, this makes my legs look uh, smaller and punier than they already are, which is not, not a good look on anybody, I don't think. Um, I also tried a pair of Hugo Boss uh, swim trunks from Dillard's. These were probably the highest quality and the most expensive trunks that I tried. Uh, these were also a size small. They didn't have any extra small in the store. And I really liked the subtle print on these. I liked the, the quality of the material and the way they felt, but these were also cut very full. Um, again, great length, but like the polo uh, swim trunks, they were just too wide for my legs. Okay, headed on over to The Gap. Uh, tried on a pair of small swim trunks. I think they might have extra small online, but uh, they only had smalls in the store. Story of my life. These were kind of like the polo trunks. You know, they were short enough, but cut a little full for my taste. I do think if you had more of an average build, these would be a very good flattering cut on you. But for me, you know, since I have extra thin legs, these were just a little too full cut. And they kind of create that, you know, upside down trapezoid look, which is a really bad silhouette for guys. So you want to go for more of a, you know, a V taper uh, with your shorts. All right, guys. So I guess the bottom line is, you know, if you're built like me, you have really thin legs and you're on the shorter side, H&M is a great choice for you. I think Gap also had some good options and Nordstrom Rack also had some good options. Uh, if you're slightly bigger than me. I hope this helps. If you have any questions about swim trunks or any of these brands I tried on, leave them down in the comments. If you like these try-on videos, if they're helpful, you know, hit the thumbs up button. Uh, let me know what you want to see next. Until next time, stay stylish. Still with me? All right, in case you're wondering, uh, this is the Seiko SNK805. Uh, it's an automatic and it's like $55, great deal. And it's on a camo NATO strap with brushed silver hardware that kind of matches the hardware on the watch. I got this strap from Amazon from a brand called Clockwork Synergy. And yeah, really liking it. So I'll put all that down in the description. As always, have a good one. See you next time.